here with you again, back at you with another helpful tip to make your tech life a little bit easier. Today I'm going to show you how to rip a DVD to iPod or iPad or iPhone format so you can go straight from DVD to your device without having to tinker with it or do the encoding that often goes with some of the free DVD software. The software I'm going to use today is called WinX DVD Ripper Platinum. And I am really, really impressed with this software because you don't have to do a lot of you know, uh, dinging around with it, a lot of settings, things like that. It's as easy as popping the DVD into the player in your computer, opening the software, and picking what you want it to uh, rip it to, and then it'll rip automatically. Now there's, as you can see, a lot of options here for ripping. Uh, I just did mine to iPod. And uh, there's several iPod options here. You can look at the codecs and the sizes. Just as a heads up, I use the 960 by 640 for the uh, iPod Touch, the uh, fourth generation, and as well as the, three gen the third generation. Uh, I have the third generation, and even though it's not supposedly the Retina display in the 960 by 640 and all that, it still played it very nicely. So you can pick what you want from these options for iPod. Like I say, there's also iPad, iPhone. If you want a regular phone, there's this 3GP three, uh, three option for Nokia, Motorola, Sony Ericsson, Blackberry, etc. So you can look at all the options, pick what you want. Right now, for the sake of the video, I'm going to pick an iPod one something I would use for mine. Now keep in mind that the bigger the screen dimensions get and the better the quality, you'll have a much bigger file. When I did the 960 by 640 it turned out to be like a 1.2 gigabit file for an hour and a half movie. So just bear in mind that when you pick the really good quality stuff that it will cost you in space if you've uh, got a space restraint or constraint on your device. Okay, so let's pick this iPod one here. For audio quality, I usually bump it up a little bit. I like to hear things nicely in my headphones. 128 is really low. Uh, the, for the rest of this, I really don't have to, to tinker with it too much. Display name, I would name that something else. Uh, in this case, it's Rock and Rolla. You can name the artist name Rock and Rolla too if you don't want unknown there. And then all you have to do is click the start button. Now somewhere here, there's an output. Maybe it's under options. There we go. <clears throat> you can tell it where you want the output folder. Like I just put mine on my desktop, but you can click browse and put it anywhere else you want. So wherever this output folder is, that's where the video will land. So make sure you know where that location is so you can get the video file. Then you press start. There we go. That looks better. And you can see this uh, This one's 1 hour and 54 minutes long from beginning to end, and that's what it'll rip, this title one right here, and that's really all you need. You don't need all the other garbage that goes with it, the trailers and what have you. So just click Start now that we've got that going in there, and it's going. Um, usually, if you do the, uh, the one of the iPod ones, it does take probably at least an hour to do. Um, some the, again, the higher the quality you want, the longer it's going to take to rip, basically. When you do the lower quality ones, it might only take a half an hour to rip. But I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. It just looks like an MP4 file right here. This is a different video I did. Um, it's MP4. It'll play right in you know Windows Media Player, VLC, whatever you want it to play in that can uh, do MP4. And just so you know, the audio is perfectly synced with the video, which was really helpful, and when I synced it to my iPod, it worked perfectly from beginning to end. So it, I'm really impressed with this. Um, you know, if you are looking for a DVD ripper and you kind of don't like the ones that you got for free, like I have some free ones and they don't really work that well, they kind of skip some scenes, this is a great one because I've never had, a, I haven't had a problem yet with this one. So that's all for today. And um, if you want to check out some more videos, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. You can also friend me, and I'll friend you back. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. It's been a pleasure.